When you get in touch with your core passions at a soul level, and the reason why I know this is because I've written books about it and I've done workshops with people on it and I have a process that get, gets people to the level of their passion at a soul level. So there's a level of kind of men, mental cerebral, oh, these are my skills and these are my talents and this is what I'm good at. And then there's a difference between at a soul level, what is my passion, what is my delight, what is, and you can feel it. The difference is in the feeling, you will have that sense. And often, the kind of a big dream that keeps tapping you on the shoulder, that keeps coming back to you over and over again is a good sense of one of the outlets for that passion. So any kind of wishful thinking or dreams or goals that you have that keep not letting up, um, you know, whatever realm it's in in your life is a way of the soul consistently calling to you. My experience with the thousands of people that I've now helped in living their dreams and also being abundant in that and being in like real sustainability in that because it's one thing to be a dreamer and it's another thing to actually be in real sustainable living with that the big thing for me is that often people allow money to be the excuse often people allow money to be the reason why i don't follow the passion i don't follow the dream money is one of the biggest fears and it's one of the reasons why as a fairy godmother i teach about money um, to help people shift through that fear and to shift their relationship to money what I've seen over and over again is that there is a lie in our society that it's absolutely my role to break and I'm taking this on like full on and that is that you can't do what you love and make huge amounts of money doing it and if you actually read the biographies or autobiographies of any of the billionaires in the world they do exactly what they love and that is why they make huge amounts of money doing it. Because they've tapped in at a mind, a body, and a soul level to who they are in their beingness, to who they are in their greatness, to who they are in their potential. And through that, they are able to channel abundance. And abundance may be money, it might be opportunity, it might be product, it might be whatever it is, relationship. They're able to channel through that into the world and into the physical realm. Because it's one thing to be spiritual. Absolutely, great, let's be connected to the divine. But our role here on the planet, manifest in these beautiful bodies of ours, is to bring this divine inspiration down into the earth and ground it and create physical manifestation through it. So whatever that physical manifestation is, whether it's money or whether it's businesses or whether it's amazing art or whether it is having an incredible surf in the ocean whatever your manifestation is in that physicality the most aliveness the most joy the most flow you'll feel is when you are in that passion center when you're in that core of like i'm taking spiritual divine inspiration channeling it through my passionate body and into the world and if you're doing that like abundance is just and I know this has been my own journey. I've been teaching it and the beautiful thing about being a teacher is that one also is learning all the time and learning at deeper and deeper levels and deeper, deeper kind of onion layers as we peel, you know, through our karma, as we peel through our past patterning, as we see what is keeping us constricted and really open up this channel for aliveness and for the gifts that we have to bring to this world.